YouTube, Doug Wallman. I'm here to do another video. So if you were paying attention to my channel, no offense at all if you didn't, um, I was showing that this JVC wasn't working. I think at the time I wasn't actually sure if it was going to or not, but it did not work. What I was trying to do is get a couple mini DVs, I think it's what they're called, mini DVs, um, transferred or digitized. Um, I'd already sent some stuff off to Legacy, Legacy Box, but yeah, these two got somehow left behind, or I, I didn't see them in time. Actually, I think one of them I was kind of aware of, but I just left it somewhere. And yeah, one of them does have a name on there or a title. The other one doesn't indicate anything's on here, but it still may be. And I'm still waiting for my last uh, round of old media that I sent to uh, Legacy Box. So anyway, like I said before, I was showing you this JVC camcorder and it wasn't working. Couldn't get it to work. Um, so maybe a little redundant here, but my parents have this Sony camcorder, but it did not, could not find the power supply for it. So what I did is I ordered one off of Amazon. So I don't know if it's going to really matter to try to show what's in here or not. I mean, you know what a power supply looks like, so. The power supply. It's just called here an AC adapter. I'll put the link in the description. Um, we'll go ahead and see if that works. All right, so that cable did not work, did not even hook up to the camcorder. So I didn't have to volunteer that information, but I thought I would uh, it just struggle like everyone else. They order something and it's not the right thing. So be sure you order the right cord. Now I did do that and I got it within like two days, something like that. So we're gonna tear into that real quick. Nice. I'm experimenting with my audio. So I got a lavalier plus overhead where you can't see it there's a xy stereo configuration of two microphones kind of like that above me i'm using ear in-ear monitors and i'm not used to those either so i don't know if they will mix real well or not we'll see about mixing the lavalier and the uh, X, Y, that's not something you'd normally do, but I'm gonna try it, see if it will do it without any major phase issues. So, out of the box. Not that that's that interesting, but it's pretty much the same looking thing I had before, just a slightly different end on the cable. So, that being, the same except for the end. And that's a totally different end. That looks like it only actually worked that time, but I don't know if I want to actually dial in what that looks like. So that's what it looks like um, up close at the end of the connector. And now let's get our settings back. All right, so I have the cord ready. And I just have to plug it in down here and see what happens, I guess. Now I don't have the light, right lighting for this. Probably not. Is that any better? So I don't know if it knows what to focus in on. I'm trying here, guys. Boom, hope this works. Oh yeah, I heard some, I heard some stuff. I heard some stuff. So that we got, that doesn't say a whole lot yet, but we do have something. I've had this open before, but I don't know guys. This was open, I promise. 
Sony. We do have that camera. But I have my handy dandy well. Okay, so this computer it wants me to set the clock. See that? That's as far as I've ever gotten. I don't know if I'm interested in setting it right now. Just kicks and grains. Okay, so first I gotta get this open. It's like it's locked. Well, let me figure this out off camera. I did figure this out. I just have to go in that direction, not the other direction. Giving a very good view of this. Oh, there's one in there that I didn't know. So there's, I have three possibly. Well, that one's kind of purplish. So probably not really focused in on a super great up here, are we? Let me just lock that focus. There, it's not going to move. Okay, this is one of my daughters here. Now, I'm about ready to create, let's put it back on automatic focus, create a hard disk space for this project on this older MacBook, even older than my other one. So this is iMovie, which I haven't used in a long time, but I haven't connected. I have this cable here. It's something like a FireWire cable, don't quote me. But I'm thinking if I plug this in, I should be able to get somewhere. We shall see. I would plug in. Hmm. Let me look off camera again so I'm not wasting a bunch of time. All right, audio sync. This is me plugging in the camera. One, two, three, four. Am I still recording on this other one? Yes. Okay. So I did figure it out. Um, this is getting kind of, can you see that, so there's just this right here. I'm not used to this technology anymore, but here's our TV, and there's your uh, other stuff like USB port. Oh man, Another more stuff that doesn't work. AV out, I think it's this one, right? Okay, so nothing, pretty, there it is, it does work. I was like panicking. So it's plugged in now. So I'm thinking this iMovie should recognize it. I don't know. I thought it would. That's probably need to adjust things so you can see that. Let's turn off the extra light. Maybe I need to uh, start it or something. No, I just turned it off. Okay, turn it back on. The cover is not open. I don't know. Start. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh. Projects, theater, iMovie. We're learning in real time here, I guess. Preferences? I don't think so. I think it's supposed to show up on the left hand side. All right, another thing I'll figure out off camera, I guess. 
but I know I've seen it on the other camera. Play. It doesn't like me to, uh, let me set date and time and all that possibly. I'll just do that off camera. Well, never mind. I didn't imagine for a second that this was actually a touch screen. That's amazing. Let me adjust the ISO here. Oh, I'll just turn this back on. Okay. So I can actually adjust. Well, yeah, like I said, it's a touch screen. I can't imagine that for this old technology. Pretty impressive, actually. Say, okay. March. The 14th. Hour. Well, that old MacBook's totally off, but it has 607. Not AM, so I had that wrong. I thought I was gonna. Oh, I'd have to go back. Well, close enough. <laughs> okay, so we got the time set. I don't know if it's gonna let me do anything. I'd like to see this on my computer because that's how I can. Should be plugged in. Well, let me close iMovie again. Open it and see what happens here. I don't know, guys. I'm not seeing that this is wanting to communicate. Weird. There we go. So I have to do the import. So I don't know if you could see. Might be easier to see if this was just in dim mode. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's an import button. And then it's Sony DV. VCR. Ah, oh, there is something there. No, I don't know if I can get any closer. Not really. I can if I do this. Right up there. Zoom in, baby. So what I could do is, let's see if this will, I can just say import right here. And I already have import to new event legacy. That's what I named this uh, new hard drive I just got. New, I'm just going to call legacy right here. Or legacy one or something. In case I need to distinguish it later. So... You don't always have to go to legacy box, is what I'm saying. <laughs> now, so do I have to just play at this whole thing in order for it to import? Import to legacy. You'd have to... Oh, it's doing it. Okay, I know what this is, and it probably wouldn't be appropriate for me to... Uh... Hi, but I know what this is now. I already have this recorded a different way, but this is probably going to be higher quality, too. Okay, we'll stop that one. I know what's in there. Stop import. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, but I probably will import that. That's a pretty cool find. Although I already did import it years ago, but it was much older technology I was using. That is cool as 
Yeah, as heck. There may be other things on there too, but uh, let's just get this out of here. Stop. Okay. Excuse me, guys. I'm just totally foreign to this technology anymore. I mean, I used to do it, but I'm not used to it at all now. Let's just try to find one more thing. I won't show you my whole uh, my whole thing. Let's see if anything's on this one. I, I'm trying to insert a different mini DV. If I can even figure that out, right? Let's turn this back on. So maybe you can see what I'm doing. Maybe. Brighten it up a bit. Sorry for the fumbling around and all the computer fans going crazy. And nothing's really focusing that easy either. Okay. There. I don't like that. I don't know why. Put it in there. Probably shouldn't have. I'm going to close the lid, see what happens. Okay. There is. Cover is not open. Play edit. Barely know what I'm doing. We'll put this off to the side. This cord, and we'll see if we can get this to play. Uh, Sony DV VCR. I wonder if we need higher ISO. Probably. Plus, I should really be focused on that. Which it is. Now I'm going to put it on manual focus. And I won't be able to move around. So I'm going to say import. Oh, cool. It's just people swimming. So I'm going to rewind it first. That's as far as it goes. So I'm going to say import. There we go. I'll play a few little bits of this. And I don't have the audio like directly involved with this recording. So whatever you hear off the computer monitors. Last one of my daughters. There's the other. Years ago. Cool. I'm not sure why. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end it. This is family moments, but maybe share a few bits more there. Well, <laughs> it's all good. Maybe watch your dive in or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to find when I... And that's a horrible place to end it, but... And it's still recording but nothing. I tell you what, that's a, I'll probably have to go through this entire tape to figure out if there's something else on it. Um, what else? I guess, Let's see if I can take that out.
take a quick look to see what's on this purplish blue tape. Now that my focus is way over there. You can see what maybe a new tape inserted. It knows this. I'm still importing, but it's kind of like an unofficial import because I'd want to do it the right way. But for the purposes of this video, and what do we do here? Play here, I guess. Okay. I think that's possibly my step to this may have already been converted to VHS because this looks familiar, but this would be a little better quality. Or some, I know I've seen footage, footage similar to this, though this does maybe look a little different, possibly. So we got some deer and whatnot. So anyway, I did, I believe I am able to perform an import on this, and I do thank you for listening and watching. I know it was painful me figuring some of this out, uh, but I do appreciate it. And success. I'm just going to have to spend some time and, and see what there is. Which, if they turned it off and didn't record any further, you know, it is what it is, but or they recorded, in some instances it appears, and then recorded no further. But to verify that, I'll, I'll do all that kind of stuff off camera. Interesting. All right, well, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification button. We will see you in the next video. And I'll probably play a few more seconds. Because it, it actually does look kind of interesting. And the computer fan's going crazy. <laughs> a little bit of work for that. But we'll see you in the next video. Maybe I'll let this continue importing if it has something to offer. Alright. Next video. Again, thank you.